Now here's a code that we have written down in order to explain you that how uh, exactly do we need to use test.start test and test.stop test method to define a new set of governor limits uh, inside a test class. So over here we have created a test class named as test class 3 which is again annotated with at test annotation and again we've got a method uh, void test before insert method. So we have created a, a like a before insert trigger uh, that, like, uh, so remember the earlier example in which we tested a trigger uh, in, in the product object that we created. Uh, the same example is what we'll be using over here. Over here what we're trying to do is we are creating some like let's say 200 products at once and uh, after creating 200 products we want to insert all of these 200 products at once inside uh, the database. So for that what we are doing over here is we are just preparing the data inside this test class and all what we are trying to test in this particular uh, test method is that whether or not the functionality works uh, well while uh, we add 200 products at once uh, at once uh, like with the, with the help and with the help of any bulk data operation or something like that so over here uh, we have first prepared the data and uh, we have prepared 200 products uh, which are added into this list p list and now we'll insert this data into the uh, database and this data uh, this insertion of this data will fire the product trigger as well so we need to make sure that uh, whatever operations are getting done inside uh, this product trigger or its helper class uh, that we discussed earlier is not exceeding the governor limits even if we are uh, like creating 200 new records into the database so and, and, and of course there might be some other things that we have done over here uh, right now we haven't done any any such a, such thing but let's say if, if i have inserted any contact in here right new contact and something like that so that will also count against the governor limits but that is not something that will happen while we'll be inserting 200 records at once uh, apart from the testing right like normally if we'll try to enter 200 products at once uh, it should it will have a different set of governor limits and that is exactly what we want to have uh, in the test run as well and for that only we have defined this test dot start test method and test dot stop test method uh, bef te start test of course before uh, the point where uh, the governor limit uh, new set of governor limits should be assigned and stop test after the point which uh, w between which the governor limit should be set and while we, we are inserting all of these uh, records that we have just created over here of the record uh, like all the records uh, will get created into the database the triggers will get fired and all the things will happen but uh, un but but with a new set of governor limits so that's basically what the difference is there's one more method uh, in like which is a system defined test class method and that is test dot is running test so there might be some situations in which uh, you need to identify that uh, the execution of this code is happening uh, from the test code or not from the test code so you can use this test dot is running test and this will return a true value if the execution of the, this particular code or this particular program is happening because of a test execution or uh, it, uh, it will return a false value if uh, the code is getting executed apart from any uh, like from, from any other class apart from a running test. So like in our calculator class let's say if we want to uh, specify something that if that if, if there is a test execution that is happening execute this particular code else skip this particular code so in that case we can uh, use this test dot is running test method uh, inside an if condition to identify whether uh, the execution of the particular code is happening because of a text uh, because of a test execution or because of a normal execution of this program or code from any other uh, point 